Hello, it's Christian here, and today we're gonna to create a coming soon page that gathers traction and starts your marketing while you prepare for your launch. Let's get started. Let's start off by saying that a coming soon page is not necessary for every business, but it could serve as a temporary destination to get ahead on your marketing, uh, building your email list, or even some getting some early feedback uh, from your customers. So let's get started with what elements need to be on the coming soon page. Firstly, you need to explain what it is that's coming soon. So talk about your products, maybe talk about a little about the company, talk about yourself. And then you also need to let them know when, right? It's important to give them a concrete timeline by you could potentially even add a countdown timer bar. There's tons of apps on the Shopify app store where you can add a countdown timer bar, set up your date, and that potentially could even give you or push you, right? To, to push that finish line and, and actually finish the website and launch your site on time. We did that when we launched Bit Branding, and I think we moved it like six times. Do you remember that? <laughs> we had put a, a, a timeline and then we ended up like, oh, nope, it's not, it's not ready yet, let's move it. It wasn't an e-commerce store, but it was still our website. Um, now, if you're driving people to this page, you'll want to start capturing their email address. Um, you could offer incentives like early bird pricing or explicit discounts, et cetera. Um, and you will also want to consider doing an exit intent pop-up if you really want to uh, start collecting those email addresses. Uh, we actually made a video on how you can make these uh, exit intent pop-ups with Sumo, and you can check out that video right here. Now, before we move on, I just want to say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Vibrani. We're an e-commerce growth agency specializing in helping apparel and clothing brands grow and scale profitably online. The one way that you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. All right, so what other elements need to be on your coming soon page? Um, you need to include a line of communication, right? Through email or social media, or even doing a live chat app through Shopify inbox, which we also made a video, you can check it out right here. So adding that line of communication could help you potentially gather some feedback uh, from your customers, or if they have any questions about your products or uh, when are you really gonna launch, uh, wink, wink, then they can actually communicate with you. Like I said, it could be through social media, email, or even having a chat, uh, live chat right there on your site. Lastly, you want to provide an easy way for people to spread the word by including some social media sharing buttons. Typically, the coming soon page include this and it's pretty easy to do. Now, there are two ways where you can create this coming soon page, and I'm gonna show you both of them right now. One of them is pretty easy. The other one, maybe a little bit more involved, but it also allows you to uh, maybe put more stuff. In there. Let's go check it out. All right, so now that, that we're logged into our store, what we wanna do is use the password page as our coming soon page, right? So typically, if you're building your store and you have everything set up correctly, and maybe you have your domain even already set up, but you're not ready to necessarily launch, then creating that check and mark in that password protection page uh, will allow you to have sort of a splash page where you can add some information in there. So in order to do that, you wanna to go to online store, preferences, and then in here, we're going to password protect the store for a little bit. Um, we're gonna click on enable password. I'm gonna say, or change that to YouTube baby, save. Now let me click on preview in the store. And there we have it. It just says total the nice kid opening soon. And you have to basically enter the store by using a password. Now, right away, this particular theme that we're using here, it includes the sign up form. So we already have a way for them to, to sign up or input their email address essentially. But although we don't have any, <laughs> any background to that, it's just an email address in there. There's no sentences or nothing that explains what it is. And it also has already the social sharing icon so they can actually share this um, on Facebook and Instagram. Now let's go back to our store here. Let me see if I have the, the yeah, the Dawn theme. I do wanna see how this particular theme, the Dawn theme, which we've talked about in some of our previous videos or recent videos, um, how they handle that password protection page. So we're gonna click on customize. And then in here, we can click on this drop down and let's see, 
maybe in the others. Yeah, so we have the password. Okay, so this one's pretty simple compared to the one that we currently have, which by the way, this theme is, I believe this is Turbo from, yeah, Turbo from Out of the Sandbox. Yeah, just in case you were wondering what that theme was. Now this one, the Dawn, is one of the new online store 2.0 free themes that Shopify offers. So the reason why I wanted to use this one is because it's gonna be super, super easy to add some time, uh, add some blocks to uh, to this particular store and sections as well. So opening soon, be the first to know about new collections and exclusive offers. So you see, this has a little bit more context to uh, for them to you know, put in their email address in here. Now let's see if we add a section. Show more. Awesome. So yeah, if you were to, for example, explain um, what this um, store is all about, maybe you wanna have a quick video, right? A video that showcases um, what you're all about, maybe the products that you're gonna be uh, showcasing. That opening soon, let's see if we can move that actually. Okay, so we can't move it within there, but we can add another section and more we can do a rich text one yeah and then we can move this to the very very top so that one is actually be will be the one that says coming soon you can put a little information there you don't necessarily have to have that button in here you can actually get rid of that but yeah this is how to very easily create this this page and actually add more content to this password protection page so you don't have to just leave it as it is the default the default, it's fine, but you can also include more information within this page, almost make it like a landing page, a small landing page where you can include information about your store, you can include a video, uh, you could potentially even include products where uh, they won't be able to check out or anything, but they'll be able to see a few products or maybe a gallery um, of different things uh, regarding your store. Um, like I said, we do wanna offer the ability for them to uh, input their email address so they can get potentially early bird pricing or exclusive offers, et cetera. Um, and then once you are ready to launch, all you have to do with this process is uncheck the password protection page and they'll be able to just go in to your, to your homepage essentially. Um, so again, this is a great, easy way to do that. Now, the second way, which may be a little bit more involved is, I'm gonna exit out of here, page, is to go to your themes. And then in here, just like we have all these other themes down here, um, what we can do is I'm going to click on this Dawn one and I'm going to duplicate it. And this is going to duplicate that theme. Now that we've duplicated this theme, we're going to, I'm actually going to click on rename. So I know exactly which one this is. Instead of just saying copy of, I'm going to say Dawn. And I'm going to put coming soon. I'm going to rename that. Perfect. Now in this theme, what we'll do is we can customize this theme. We can basically build our homepage. We can potentially even have some products in there. Um, obviously the, the way that this will work is we are going back to preferences. I'm gonna uncheck mark the password protection. So we won't have that page anymore. But what we will have is this theme that has all the information that we need to display on this website without uh, the ability for them to purchase or to do anything like that. Um, but this will allow us to basically include all and every type of information and truly treat it um, as a landing page or even multiple pages. So if you want to showcase the about page or the FAQ page or all this stuff, you can do so by just having this dedicated coming soon duplicate version of your theme, right? So in this case, um, we can just click on customize and work through all the things that we want to add to that store. And once we're ready to publish this coming soon, we just hit on that publish button and this will basically jump up to the very top and it will be the live theme that we use for, the, for this particular store. So for example, if we click on customize and I just wanna showcase here what, what I'm talking about. Um, what we want to do is basically include the homepage, uh, like I said, potentially include the about page, potentially include an FAQ, a contact page. So you can include these pages. What we don't want to showcase necessarily is the product pages or the collections. Um, so the way to do that is by clicking on the header, 
And then on your navigation, what you wanna do for this particular store is create navigation specific for this store. So we can uh, change this menu. I'm gonna click on edit menu. And then I'm gonna click back on that one. So I'm going to create a new menu and this will be my coming soon, oops, coming soon menu. And then I'm gonna add the homepage. Just add it right there. Homepage, add. I believe we have an about page already set up for this. So let's look at pages. Yeah, about, add. And then lastly, let's just add a contact page. Okay, I'm gonna save that menu. And by doing that, now that we go back to this, the theme editor, we can change this, change the menu. And it doesn't show, so let me refresh this page. And we're back. So after refreshing the page six times, the menu appears. So it's called the coming soon menu, like we had named it. We can select that and we can see at the very top here has home, about, and contact just what we wanted. And like I said, it's just about manipulating that, that menu so that they can necessarily access your product. But in this homepage and the about and the contact, you can talk about your product. You can insert galleries. You can insert all the sections that you want to talk about your product, treat it as a landing page. Uh, make sure that you include a uh, email collection tool. Um, we talked about potentially doing live chat and all these things. So have at it, super simple to do either one really. Um, it's really not super complicated. Obviously this one's more involved because you have to sort of design your whole store right there versus just creating that one page with a password protection page. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this process or how to add more things or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, leave those comments down below and we'll make sure to help you. If you like this video, make sure to highlight that button, hit that like button, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye.